Hello and welcome to an update to the universal save system for Godot. The older version was for Godot 3 and it doesn't work anymore and also I did improve the system and how it works. Um, so if you're seeing this on the on the Godot asset store, make sure that you also watch the, the other video. There is a link in the description. You have to watch both of them so you get a very comprehensive and big understanding on how the system works because it allows you to save both data about your game and also you know uh, uh, information about the objects where they are and it simplifies the, the the saving and serialization of the game of course godot already provides you with a system which helps you do this but this system is so much simpler to use i think it's it's very straightforward you just need to declare which variables and information you want to save for from an object and the system does everything else for you you don't have to do that much code there is some code that needs to be done you will see in the tutorial that i'm referencing in in the description uh, that i'm i'm using some serializable and, and serializable collections that's going to get replaced and you'll see in this tutorial how it's going to get replaced but it's very important for you to watch that video because there's a lot of information to cover and of course if you want to ask me more questions there is the there is a link for discord and you can join our community and you know see how we can solve the problem that you're facing so yeah let's get into it so first things first i am going to check out the game again and show you how it looks the game still works the same i can attack i can collect coins and if i'm going to enter in the dungeon we see the same thing i can kill oh. I can kill these guys. Oh, collected one coin by accident. I can kill them and I... Come on. I can get their coins. But if I do exit the dungeon and enter again, you see that I start again at the starting position and at the entrance. Why is that so? One of the main reasons is that I did change how the serialization is being done. So if I open my level now, you will see that in my code in here, I don't have the serializable collections nor serializable. So all the variables are, are going to be held differently. You see that most of the code stays the same. I still do the same stuff and I'm going, I'm going to go through all the stuff again and show you around what's happening and, and, and how. You can still see that I have my save state in here which is going to save to save game.sub um, so nothing much changed but the way we serialize stuff has changed so first things first I'm going to show what and how the save and load actually works so if I press the load button in here uh, first thing is that the save state is going to load the game state from the disk so this is taking data from the disk into this object into this particular object in here afterwards it's going to unpack the level which is this current level um, but nothing nothing is going to happen in here because this level doesn't have any serialization data being uh, taken in consideration and then i'm going to set my game variables so i'm going to start with the game variables first i have this player state in here which is an auto load so if i go into my auto load in here i do see that i have my player state in here you know uh, object player state I have my scene in there so let's go to game objects game objects player state I open the player state and I see it just some variables it's a plain node simple node with a script attached to it uh, of course you can just make a script that's perfectly fine but in this scenario it's better to have a node and I have my current level my last visited level and the collected coins because we need to know how many coins we, we collected so in order to save this information and in order to count up the, the number of collected coins, uh, we will need to serialize them. So if I start the game, I can see in here that if I collect a coin, and I took one coin, I'm going to save and I exit the game. Now, if I enter the game again, and I click load, nothing happens. Because we didn't serialize that variable in particular. So let's do that first. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click on my node, Add child node, I will look for serializable. Notice that there's also this one. Do not click on this one. This is not what we want. Click on this, this one. This is serializable. I add it and it has some options in the inspector. It has transform, children, and variables because it can serialize the transformation of this node, meaning its parent, the children of this parent, and the variables of this parent. 
Uh, we don't need the transform because it's an auto load and we don't have any children so we don't serialize those either but we will want to serialize the variables in here right now there is no automatic way to do it you need to do it manually you just add this you add element and add the name of the variables make sure that you either copy paste or when you write the the you know the variable name is exactly as it's being spelled in here i already <laughs> did the boo boo there just copy paste them that's fine and that's it like literally that's how you serialize this node so now if i go and play and enter in here i'm going to collect three coins i'm going to collect these three coins see i have a three in here click save exit the game and now i enter back into the game you see that directly the game starts with three coins uh, even though we ate this you will see how i'm going to fix this so we have three coins out of the box because we serialize that right and that's because here in the in the load we actually do uh, set the, the the variable of the of the game itself in the save we do the same thing we take the current level into the singleton we load the state uh, into the file we set the game variables we pack the level and then we save it to disk another thing that has changed is the way i i am doing objects in this example and more precisely how I treat collections is that I have all those objects in here so you see all these objects they are actually part of this layer this layer can uh, be either a tile map like in this example or it can be an a, actually a node a node 2d containing objects um, now if I am going to make this uh, set of objects this collection as a serializable all its children are going to be serialized so I'm going to add it serializable object and i don't need a transform but i will want the children to be serialized and i don't have any variables so that's fine um so the children are going to be serialized so all the objects that are going to be in, in this node you know the player and the coins are going to get serialized so what does that mean uh, it means that all the objects under this are going to be deleted on unpacking and instantiated from the data file and also during the save the objects which also have a serializable are going to get that so for starters i'm going to play the game as is and see what happens so i'm going to collect some of the coins save and if i click load nothing happens and that's because neither of these items in here are serializable not the player not the coins nothing so i need to make the player and the coin serializable first so first i open the coin this is my coin scene it just has one area when when i collect the the coin i'm going to add the serializable i'm gonna actually put it first it doesn't matter the ordering uh yes the transform is important the children it doesn't have any children and it doesn't have any variables so i save this and i'm going for the player as well I right click, add child node, serializable, put it first, you can put it everywhere, doesn't matter, it must be uh, directly under the parent. So transform yes, children no, do I have any variables, you know what, do we change this, uh, no, so this speed doesn't change, so I don't need it to be serialized, so I'm not going to serialize this one, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So now if I play the game, Let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to eat some of the coins. Okay, so I save the game. And I eat some more coins. And I do load. Oh, nothing happens. Although the, the number changed. Okay, so there's something is wrong. Let's check it out. So what I'm trying to actually save. So when I press the save button, I'm actually doing this. I'm setting in the singleton, in the auto load, the player location, which is the current level. The current level is this level where we are right now which is the scene file path okay then we take all the data from the disk okay then we overwrite the data from the save state with the data from the player state okay so we save this player state into the save state we pack the level which is this level and then we save it and when we load, we do take all the data from the disk, from the disk into this state state. We unpack the data into this object, and then we take all the variables to the player state. 
So it means that there must be some problem with packing. And of course, because if, if we look at this object, it's not serializable. So I need to add serializable first and say like, okay, I don't care about its transform, but I do care about its children. Because this is going to actually look inside all of the nodes and see if there's anything else. And of course, object is serializable and so on and so forth. So let's try again. And now I'm going to eat some more coins, save, eat some even more coins, okay. and if I click load, there we go. In case you have any kind of problems, there is a link below to an invitation to Discord and you can enter our Discord, our community and you can ask any kind of question, I will try to help you and solve your problems. Okay, but let's continue, if I go in here, I see that the ghosts actually are not serialized, so I need to serialize the ghosts as well. So if I go into the ghost object, I see this is the ghost, and these are going to be the variables that I want to serialize. So I'm going to add a serializable, I want the transform to be serialized, and I don't have any children, but I do have variables. So one of the variables is life, and the other one is speed. Always check out the spelling, spelling is very important in this scenario. And if I play, notice that the game starts with the old state that it used to be. And I go in here, I'm going to try to uh, convert one of the ghosts into a coin. Okay, there we go. Let's try again. Okay, okay so. Uh, so, so some of the ghosts only have one life. So I'm going to exit, save. And enter the game again and we should see that it didn't do anything why was that the case well it's the same case as earlier i didn't serialize neither the collection of the objects right serializable i serialize just the children and also i want to serialize the level so no transform just the children and now i start it enter the game do the same thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah. <laughs> I ate the coin. I didn't want to eat that coin. Come on. Okay, awesome. Hold on. Okay, so I'll try to make this ghost very weak to have just one single life. I'm going to save it, then enter again. And you can see that I should be able to kill them with just one single hit because they only had one life and that's because I serialized the life before I leave you with the system so you can play around I'm going to show you where you where you get this information saved if you open your Windows Explorer you can get to app data and if you scroll down you can going to see a Godot in here and you also see an app user data here are all of the Godot games this is the plugin, but this is going to be your game, so look for your, the name of your game. And you can see that my save file is in here. And I've opened this, uh, this file, and I'm going to copy paste it into this web page, json.parser.online.france. It doesn't matter. You can paste it in any kind of JSON parser, but I just want to show you a little bit of how this object looks like. So this is the raw data, we don't care about that. We are going to care about this information in the JSON. So I'm going to try to collapse everything first and see what's actually contained in here. So first of all, this is a version. In future versions, I'm actually going to add a way to add um, multiple versions for, for your save file. So if you upgrade the way you save stuff, you don't ruin the, the save file of your player. You're going to have multiple versions in here. So like version 3, version 4, you know. Then inside here we have two entries, globals, which are actually being saved by get and set game variables and the name of this singleton in here. We can see that we have our player state. Its name is player state, its file path is the for that scene in particular. It's an object and it has some variables. Remember the, the, the information that we serialized. So here it is, it has strings, 
and in maps we have two maps the two levels that we have right so it's full of stuff we can see that for the first one is uh, level zero it has the path for the scene in here it's also an object and it has several children and under children we can see there's the layers so that coincides with this object and then it's objects and we see the same thing that under object there's objects and under objects there's uh, actually the serialization data we can see that it's a it's an object it's an, a tile map uh, and there's its children which are all of the objects which are the coins and the player you can see the player with its transform uh, and if we go in the other level I'm going to give an example of the other layer where I have a ghost and we can see the ghost has some transform and also some variables and we said hey I want to save the life and the speed of the ghost thank you very much for watching I really hope this tutorial helps and helps you upgrade from the older version of the system to this newer version I really hope this is clear enough using the other tutorial as well I know it's quite a lengthy process you know to go through the other tutorial and this tutorial and try to get this solved saving a game is not an easy task in this scenario you are not saving just the data that's pretty simple as you can see you can just serialize the the singleton object and you get the variables and that's it but this system actually helps you do more than that actually helps you save also the you know the, the information related to the objects and their structure and everything else now I, i'm going to be honest this might not be in its golden state it's still something in works uh, still needs a lot of testing so please 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 if you do find any kind of bugs don't forget to join the discord in the in the link in the description and also if you want to support me i have a link for the game that i'm currently working on that would help a lot and also if you do consider to support me on, on patreon that's going to mean a lot and it's also going to help me you know work more on these projects do more more interesting systems that i can share with you i do have some plans of more game systems like a dialogue system a menu system that i can share with you folks and maybe it it is helpful for you as well and also if you are interested i also have um, a crt shader for free for godot you just plop it i don't have a tutorial for that yet but uh, if you join the discord i'm going to help you and guide you how to make it work for you so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope that was useful for you don't forget to leave a like and you know do the youtube thing and maybe leave a comment with some questions that you have and i will see you in the next one Bye.